Hello everyone. Uh, I hope that uh, you have a great day today. All right. So uh, today we got to uh, learn how to uh, create a very simple animation by using the uh, Java uh, language. Okay. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a new project. So I will click the file and then new project. And then over this uh, new project uh, dialog box, I'm going to uh, keep uh, the uh, Java as the uh, project category. And then for the project type, I'm going to still use the Java application. Then I'm going to click Next. And since I'm going to create a Java applet, okay, so I'm going to maybe just name the project name as uh, applet animation maybe zero one and we know that uh, uh, in the app Java applet there is no uh, main function at all so we have to uh, clear the check mark uh, next to the uh, create main class so let me remove it all right then I'm going to click finish so pretty good. Okay, uh, the uh, uh, project has been created, but now I'm going to uh, use some uh, pre-built uh, skeleton code for a Java applet. So I'm going to move. I'm going to move my mouse pointer on top of the uh, project name, which in this case is applet animation zero one. Then I'm going to right-click the mouse button. On the pop up menu, I'm going to select new and then I'm going to pick J applet. Then again, you can uh, use the default name, get new applet, okay, or you can change to something you like, it really doesn't matter. So, assume I'm going to just to use the uh, default name, new applet. Then let me click finish. There you go. Okay, so uh, it uh, created some. Uh, uh, pre-written uh, code for me. Okay, and then let me delete those comments. Okay, so I can have more space to add something later on. And you can see that there's a <coughs> pre-built method called uh, init, which stands for in initialization over there. However, I'm going to uh, show. Uh, how to uh, display some uh, string, okay, which mean will, which mean that uh, uh, I'm going to show some character uh, values. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, pen. Okay, I'm going to use the pen class. Okay, so let me type something here. Okay. Public void pen and pen and then the parameter will be graphics and the class will be graphics and then parameter I'm going to call G and then I'm going to prepare the body and then you can see that uh, the compiler did not like it because the graphics class hadn't been imported yet so I'm going to move the mouse pointer over there and uh, it indicate that okay, I have to uh, import the uh, uh, graphic class, okay, graphic class. So let me do that right now. Okay, let me do that right now. Okay, and then uh, let me import the Java dot A W T class or package, if you want to call it. And now I can start to. I type the code so let me see uh, the first one I'm going to uh, use will be uh, j dot draw a string okay, draw a string and then I'm going to put a very simple message like hello word and then I'm going to display it, that one over coordinates uh, x value of 30 pixels yeah, to the uh, right of the point of origin 
and then y coordinates of 30 as well all right and then uh, let me just run it okay, so to run it uh, since this is the Java Java applet so I'm going to click run and then I have to pick run file okay run file okay. so you can see okay it displays the uh, uh, string okay Job, uh, hello world okay. and then maybe I think well the string uh, font uh, size is a little bit small right so let me increase the font size a little bit so let me add another statement okay. g graphic uh, set font and then new font okay, from the new font ca uh, class okay, I'm going to use the constructor and then let me use the uh, font face career okay so you, you are I E R and then the second parameter will be the style so uh, I'm going I'm going to use bold okay, bold and then uh, the font size I'm going to increase to let's say 24 points okay see how it goes so let me just try it out again okay run run file so far so good okay now I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, perform animation okay so to perform animation uh, you have to uh, find out uh, what uh, background color uh, is used uh, uh, currently so I type a statement color and declare a reference variable original color and then I'm going to call the uh, g dot get car uh, be get background color yeah back get background color b let me see yeah. g dot get oh no I have to use list my bad yeah. this dot get background color first okay so this will be the background color okay and then now I can uh, a set yeah I can set the uh, background color the fonts uh, background uh, the fonts color to background color since I want to erase okay, uh, what has been uh, written uh, in the previous statements so let me just call g dot set color okay and then the color I'll be using will be the uh, background color okay which will be the original color okay and then I can uh, copy and paste okay the same statement over here but in order to sh that you see the effect of the color uh, being erased so I'm going to uh, pause okay, uh, a few seconds after the uh, fun have been uh, uh, pended yeah all been written yeah so let me use the thread yeah so let me type it try okay okay and then let me yeah I need to edit a catch okay try catch the exception e and then for the body of the catch I'm going to leave it blank but then in the try I'm going to use the threads okay thread not threads thread not sleep okay function and then uh, the uh, units of time is in milliseconds so I'm going to type let's say uh, wait for two seconds 
which will be 2,000 milliseconds. And then sometimes that uh, if the uh, program uh, give you some uh, errors, okay, then make sure that you import the Java dot language dot thread no class yeah, thread class in case that uh, the compiler uh, give you uh, some complaint about the thread class so that again so let's try it okay let's try it so run run file draw okay and then it disappeared okay, after two seconds okay so okay this is a very simple example of an animation and then actually uh, <coughs> with this one uh, <coughs> Uh, you have in mind okay then you can uh, also uh, make a loop okay, if you want so let me show you okay what I'm trying to do right now so let me get uh, declare another variable called a color and then let me call it uh, default uh, color okay, and then it will be the graphs uh, default color get color okay okay and then now okay, let me I'll set the color over here first so this will be the default color before I change the color to the background color okay and then again uh, let me I'll run the application to make sure that everything everything I think is the same as uh, the computer so far so good all right and then disappeared okay so now I want it uh, to loop loop it for let's say five times okay, so let me add the for loop here for i equal to zero i less than five i plus plus and then the body okay. and then let me move all the code well let me just move the closing uh, braces of the for loop yeah, to here okay. let me put a tab indentation and I forgot to declare the variable i so let me make it as an integer okay so let's see what's going to happen now okay so let's run it so run run file this uh, uh, showed up two seconds later Okay, so let me see. Something is missing here. Give me a minute. So it showed up well, for two seconds, disappeared. Well, which is correct. Let me extend the time to three seconds. Let me run it again. Show up. Oh, okay, okay. I know yeah, what's going on. Okay. So let me uh, add a little bit interval, slipping or pause interval here as well. Okay. So you can see the effect uh, better. Okay. All right apologize for the uh, technical difficulty so let me run it again run okay. and then one file I think two seconds will be okay so let me change back to two seconds okay. so run one file okay 
disappear for two seconds, show up for two seconds, disappear for two seconds, show up, disappeared, 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 show up, disappeared. Oh, that's interesting. They keep doing like that. Yeah. Oh no, I think it stopped already. All right, I think that's it. Have fun, enjoy it. Yeah. Bye.